16. But it is this fight for second that has the intrigue. Uh, Nepo versus Fabi. Um, give us your insight. First of all, who are you predicting? Well, at the moment, Nepo has a half point lead. Yep. So Nepo's fine. This Carlson Ritchie report game as. There's so. a board full of pieces, I wanted to say, but bishop takes c5. Richie's eyeballing the d d6 square. Sorry, and This what position were you? came from the Sicilian. I, I couldn't guess the opening looking <laughs> no, at the position. I, so. I would have guessed a King's Indian or maybe a perk, but Sicilian, no. Bishop takes c5, by the way. Again, a big threat of knight d6 check. Uh, so there was no queen takes d3, knight d6 check would have been uh, very, very bad news. Takes on f5, rook I, takes f5. I don't f5. love my pawns on d3 and c3, but I love my knight on d6. Yes, yes, it's a gorgeous piece, but it's an extra pawn as well, right? So it's pawn and position. Can Magnus lose two in a row? We saw it in the rapids. And remember uh, that in the Rapids, that was just a stunner for Magnus. Uh, again, uh, let's just be very <laughs> clear. Magnus is already the tournament winner, and maybe he's let his guard down a little bit too, Possibly, right? Yes. I but mean, it's, it's the funny euphoria that, of winning yeah. the event itself. You can be capable of losing two games in a row and then winning nine, or sorry, 11 in a row. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Then... Don't shortchange our winner. <laughs> uh, Miro, jump in. Uh, Richie's looking good at the moment. How good is it? Uh, let me see. Well, it is pretty good. But it's also pawn and position, right? Night, like after 94, I have. Uh, great pieces and uh, better center control with my uh, pawns on c3, d3, my good knight on e4. I'll just defend my pawn and uh, yeah. And Magnus in, in quite some trouble, I would say, at this moment. Yeah, add black upon on c7, you would still play with white, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> take the Yeah, take the pawn off of c7 and I'm more enthusiastic. But there's still a lot of pieces on the board, and we know how tricky Magnus can be. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Uh, at some certain moment, uh, h4, h5 starts to be attractive. If you play g5, then knight h2, knight g4, that's a very nice, stable knight. If you <coughs> capture, well, that exposes your king. By the way, another little crafty move to keep in mind that bishop h3 could be uh, disconcerting. Absolutely. Knight h2 with the idea maybe of h5. And Richard is not having the best tournament, but defeating Magnus that, uh, is enough to call a tournament a success. Exactly, exactly. Uh, rook d2, not only defending, but again, I think White uh, wants to get on with his business of playing h5. But he's not rushing, he's maneuvering his pieces, improving the position slowly. Yes. Uh, I like this knight on g4. Somehow this knight on g4 is just keeping Is black. it going to e3? Or? Yes, yes, okay. yes. And I think king h2, bishop h3 is yet again. It's also annoying Magnus can't kick the knight out because h5 would be a terrible move given g5 square for the other knight. Exactly. And that would be a... a, a Wonderful outpost. Again, moves like king h2, these nice little easy moves that just tuck things away. I liked it. Both players now under minute. one minute, yes. Knight h3, queen e3. Oh, f takes e3, that's very nice. Three connected pawns in the center. f2 takes e3. Okay, now the, the reasons for playing king h2 are even more compelling. Uh, as there's a skewer with bishop h3 to be had. So king h2 looks good? Everything looks good. <laughs> Everything looks good. Yeah, white's uh, position is just beautiful at the moment. Knight to c3 to d5 looks good. I, I, it's, it's, it looks so pretty, I don't even want to touch it and change it. <laughs> but king h2, I, I, I do find it uh, confounding how you cannot play a move like king h2. That is just such a Magnus useful finding ideas move. with 
a5 and b5, trying to put some pressure, more pressure on d3. Exactly. Um, 30 well, seconds for Richard. Takes a knight f2. Just, again, I'm, I'm eyeballing bishop h3, but I'm thinking if I can put my bishop on e4. Knight on e4 was so pretty. <laughs> I know, I know. But sometimes, you know, a square is occupied and another piece would really like that square. In this case, the bishop on e4, oh, oh, Magnus allowed so the skewer. There's knight f5, though, right? E4? Oh. oh, knight takes g3. I apologize. Bishop e6? And knight takes e2. Rook takes e2. Oh, pardon me. Rook yeah. takes e2. Yes. No, no, uh, so it is an exchange. exchange. Very nice. And uh, meanwhile... It's all about the clock. Sorry. Kokesh has won his game against Ivan Saric. And, f oh, we already know that Fabi drew his game. And Vichy wins with the black pieces against Duda. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Vichy... Uh, He's had a, such a tumultuous uh, event, uh, so many Not ups and downs. Not a lot of draws for Vichy. No. Rook to b2, okay. Finally, the rook uh, decides to get itself into the game. Uh, bishop takes a4, knight c5. You're allowing queen Queen h3, h3. whoa. What, what, what? So if we take on a4, queen g3. On g3, queen, queen g2, g2. we queen take takes. on f2. Wait a minute, Magnus bluffed. <laughs> Magnus bluffed there. Uh, Richie should have just... I mean, this position looks quite winning as well, but Richie has just had three seconds on the clock. So no way. Things three can seconds. happen. Uh, rook b6, knight e6 on white's agenda. Rook, at, rook f7? No, I'm not sure. Oh, knight b3 is a cool what? move. <laughs> knight b3? What but are you okay, doing? Eight? Rook d8? Rook a8? Uh, I'm not happy with Richie's the technique going here. A too far. Not happy at but all. Four, when again, four seconds on the clock. Mistakes Ran. are expected. E5 is hanging. D4. Oof. Yeah, D4. Otherwise. But now A3, E6. Yes, okay, yes. that's the problem. A3, rook B7 E6. B7 now looks good. E5 and Rook yeah. B7 check. Yeah. I think Rich has got this now. And rook a3, just to secure <laughs> it. And maybe the king can come up the board, too. That would be nice. And Firuja won his game. Keeping the pressure. I think he's only half a point behind Fabiano now. Exactly. So in the last round, the second place will be decided. But in this game, wow, yeah, if Magnus goes down. <laughs> Captain Obvious, right, in the last round. <laughs> good, good morning, St. Louis. Well, if, it. <laughs> if Firuja lost, then Nepo would have a significant lead. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, Richie is now put wow. the final, final moves together, and Magnus goes down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Do we have any other games? Nope. They're all done. Uh, fill the gaps. Miro, please.